Namaste everyone. Today I am going to uh, tell you how to calculate response of a continuous time system using convolution. Okay. In the last video I, uh, I have discussed that there are many methods to calculate response of a system. But in this video I will be telling what are the what is the way means how to calculate response of a system with the help of convolution okay let us start you know that uh, if i apply any signal to a system then the output of that system is suppose i have a system here in this system if a, any input x of t is applied and then output of the system is yt okay so instead of xt if i apply a standard elementary signal that is known as impulse signal if i apply impulse signal then the system's response will be impulse response so the response the output due to the impulse signal so this response if I take as h of t so uh, this response need not to be an impulse you, you know impulse is just a, is a peak at zero but output will not be a just peak it, it will be something uh, some something some arbitrary signal so h of t is like this okay this is not nothing is difficult till this point so wherever you uh, you feel difficulty you can write it in comment okay i will i i will resolve the difficulty later on okay so now if i delay now if i delay if uh, delta t by tau delta tau if input is input is delta t minus del tau some constant time okay so when input is delayed output will be delayed if this is time invariant system if this is time invariant uh, so i am taking here and considering this system as lti system this, this is a linear also and time invariant also if this is that kind of system so if i delay input by this delta tau time if uh, if our uh, impulse is now at delta tau so delta this is delta t minus delta tau then when it pass through when it will pass through the system then output of the system will also get delayed so output will be h of t minus delta tau is this okay so similarly if i if i have a, a plot of this system that will be also delayed by delta tau time okay if i again if i have I, if I multiply this input, you, are, you can see this. I don't want to hide everything. Just see this one. Okay. So if I delay, uh, if I multiply this by del tau, then what will happen? So if I multiply this, so this is a scaling. Scaling by a constant quantity. Nothing will happen. Just this uh, amplitude of this. Uh, impulse will so if I multiply del tau to this delta t minus del tau nothing will happen this, uh, this will uh, this uh, impulse will be uh, scaled only okay now so here also the output will be scaled because this is a linear system this will be h of t minus del tau like that only delta 
h of t minus delta. Again, if I multiply this uh, input again by x of t, so if I multiply input by x of t, so now this will be impulse input, which is x of uh, I can take uh, tau also tau because t is all uh, delta of tau del t minus del tau. So if I again scale, then output will also will be scaled again. So output will be x of tau del tau h t minus tau delta. Okay. If I apply limit, means if I reduce this del t towards 0, so if I have limit del of tau tends towards 0 and summation minus infinite to infinite x of tau del uh, del tau del t minus del tau if it, it passes through the system then this will be x of tau So here also you will see the limit, limit del tau tends towards 0, summation minus infinite to infinite x of tau h t minus del tau del tau or you can say y t equal to minus infinite to infinite x of tau h t minus tau okay and d tau delta tau is converted to d tau I mean uh, del, uh, delta t tends towards zero okay Very good. There are there are some which. So this expression is the important expression of signal processing or for systems. This expression is called convolution integral. And this operation is called convolution operation of the signals. By using this particular equation we can calculate the response of any system so this equation this convolution in integral equation is very useful for calculating the responses of the systems okay i hope uh, this this is sufficient to understand the convolution and also to understand how to calculate the response of the system thank you thank you so much